Hello, welcome back to Rob's Homemade, and today we are here, 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 or again on my own for the time being. But we're here for a hot sauce review. I've had this sauce so long. Do you know I've said in previous videos, you when you're buying stuff, getting more stuff, and you things get just pushed to the back of the cupboard. I was having a route around the other night in my cupboard. And I came across something that I'd completely forgot about. Mr. Dave Kernahan from Rockadoodle, is it Rockadoodle Do? Sent me some hidden treasures. I mean, John reviewed the other one, and I found this one at the back of the cupboard. It is hidden treasures. It's Hannah. I can't even say it. Harissa Reaper barbecue sauce. I completely forgot I had this. I've been looking at it and I thought, damn, I forgot I had this. The labelling on this, I love the way it's treasure mapped. It's absolutely amazing, the gold labels. I've got my treasure chest at home, which I am going to get out and do for a video. I'll do all three sources in that treasure chest because I've had that about a year and a half, two years, and I never really wanted to open it. But I thought to myself the other day, I looked at it and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to get that out, I'm going to do a special rock -a doodle do treasure chest uh, hot sauce review. So for now, we're doing one of his other hidden treasures. This is, like I've just said, Harissa Reaper barbecue sauce. So it's going to be spicy, spicy, spicy. So we have... Onion, carrot, tomato, roasted bell peppers, tomato puree, white wine vinegar, Carolina Reaper chilies, 30%, habanero chilies, 5%, olive oil, salt, pepper, lime, ginger, mango, peach, plum sauce, harissa powder, tandoori powder, and maple syrup. This is going to be sweet, tasty, full of fruit. There's probably at least one of my five a day in this bottle at least one of my five a day so i'm getting my fruits i'm getting my spice i'm getting everything i could possibly want so if you've never checked out rockadoodle mr dave kernahan is a belfast hot sauce company i just want to say a big thank you to kieran ryan and jim flynn i've not mentioned them guys in videos for a long time they got me on to uh rockadoodle when they sent me a long time ago it's got to be over two years ago they sent me, um, oh, which one was it? The cavity one. Ah, oh, puka. They sent me the puka hot sauce. I've done the seven, 20 wings in seven minutes challenge. That was with another one of Rockadoodle's hot sauce. Go and check this guy out. Go and check out his website. He's an amazing, amazing sauce producer. He's a good guy. Really nice guy to chat to, and Kieran Ryan and Jim Flynn. Once again, thank you for putting me on to him. So, I'm going to take actually, no, no, I'm just going to push it down. Like I said, <coughs> hidden treasures. I love the labeling, I love the way he's worked it. It's fantastic. Get the spoon out. Um, do we go big or do we go small? Should we start, we'll start small, because I do have to go back to work, as we all know. I sit and do this on my dinner, half an hour, it's not even a dinner hour where I work, we get half an hour, which is pretty crap to be fair. But, that's life, and that's what I choose to do at the moment, until I can, you can smell the tandoori powder straight off. It's got that Indian flavour to the smell. Oh, that smells really good. Sorry, John, I know you're missing out again, but these things have got to be done without you at the moment. Fingers crossed. Get your arse back here, John. Oh, it's, it's like when you walk into an Indian restaurant and you get that smell of the tandoori coming out. It smells so good. So here's the port. Quite a thick sauce. It's a 
200 milliliter bottle also which is a good size bottle and whilst watering I'm the tandoori smell gets even stronger on the spoon. This is going to be good, I know it is, with Reapers and Arissa. So, Rockadoodle Do, Mr. Dave Kernahan, here's to your hidden treasure, Harissa Barbecue, Harissa Reaper Barbecue Sauce. Cheers. Oh. Oh. I haven't had Reapers in a while. <coughs> be perfectly honest. Ooh, jeez. Mmm. The tandoori flavour is one of the first things that hits your throat. Jesus. <coughs> it's a strong flavour. You can taste the tomato, the bell peppers, and we get a blast of heat. That is really, that is spicy. That's probably the spiciest thing I've had. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. The heat in my throat. I'm gonna give that an eight. That's a strong one. It is. 30% Carolina Reaper chilies. You can definitely, definitely tell that's a strong reaper. And that, like I said, I've had this bottle a good, oh, it's got to be eight months. So I don't know if it's got hotter while it's been sat there or what, but that's definitely a burner. That's going to get a good seven. Definitely. Once opened, refrigerated, and consumed within 30 days. That'd be great as a dip for like when you have your poppadoms and your starters and your barges and your samosas and if you don't like it too hot you could always mix it with a bit of mayo or something like that or put a drop in your raita your cucumber and yogurt drop of that and just give it a little bit of extra spice but that's really good that's so enjoyable flavor rating i'm gonna give it an eight it's definitely definitely a good tandoori spiced hot sauce beautiful tasting taste the sweetness of the bell peppers and the roasted uh, garlic carrots and tomatoes not so much what else is in there you can't really get much of the mango and peach out of it because the heat sort of takes over but that's a cracking hot sauce a cracking cracking hot sauce for anyone who's just about middle of the road on their heat go and get yourself some rockadoodle do hidden treasures go over to his website check him out amazing guy so eight flavor rating heat it's it's coming straight back down it was an instant blast it's still burning on my tongue it's still spicy around the mouth but i'm gonna give that i'm gonna give it a seven because it was a powerful i don't know because i've not had much spice lately but that was really good so dave kernan Big thumbs up to your hidden treasures. The last one was made, and this one's even better. And I am going to get that treasure chest out at some point. Hopefully, when John's back, we can sit and do all three once again together. So, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back for more hot sauce, more challenges, more supermarket reviews, all things foodie, and sometimes a little bit of exploring. So, thank you very much for watching. Peace!